Hello everyone, Dusty here. I wanted to check up and make sure that people are making progress on the Module 2 material. Of course, this week we are focused on archaeological field methods, dating methods, and also uh, archaeological theory, which all of those topics are some pretty heady, heady material. So I wanted to make sure that um, if you had any questions, that you felt comfortable reaching out to me uh, via direct email and we can work on those, those issues together. I also wanted to take um, a brief moment to discuss the homework assignment for this week. Last week was a breeze. All you had to do was do some reading and answer some reading questions. This week is different. This week is going to require you to engage in some critical and creative thinking based on archeological field methods, dating methods, and, and theory. And the whole point of this assignment is for students to make the connection that the methods that we use in the field and the laboratory are directly related to archaeological research questions, the types of data that we need to answer those questions, and also inter uh, the interpretation of those data using theory. So for this assignment, you will be required to pretend you are a grad student at UC Santa Cruz and you are interested in studying um, the fishing practices, the prehistoric fishing practices of local um, indigenous people, the, the Ohlone people to be exact. And you've done some background research. And here's a side note, uh, please remember that all good archaeology, all good science for that matter, starts in the library and starts with background research. So your background re research has shown or has suggested that the Ohlone people um, set up seasonal fishing camps along the Monterey Bay. Uh, these sites were probably relatively small, only occupied by a handful of people, and probably aren't that visible after hundreds if not thousands of years. So you want to go out and find some of these sites. So you need to think about what types of survey methods would you use in the field to help you uh, best find those types of archeological sites given the environmental context that you will likely find them in. Uh, next, saying that you found those sites, you're gonna uh, want to excavate them to answer the research question about the dietary importance of small schooling fish uh, to the Ohlone people. Based on that, you're going to have to think about, well, what methods would I use to excavate this site um, would you use arbitrary or natural levels? And maybe most importantly, what screen size should an archaeologist should you use to help collect uh, bones from small schooling fishes such as sardines and anchovies? You're also going to have to think about what types of dating methods would be most useful uh, to you to date organic material, including bone and shell, as well as um, inorganic material, including uh, obsidian. And then the final question, you're going to have to think about um, why processual archaeology and human behavioral ecology would be um, good selections of theory to help interpret your excavation data and address your research questions about native fishing practices and native diet. Anyways, um, please do not procrastinate. This, uh, this assignment will take you a little bit more time than, than last assignment. Please remember, both the quiz and the homework assignment will be due before midnight on Sunday. Please upload your homework uh, submissions to Canvas with a PDF or a Word document. Please don't use any other files. Um, and if you need an extension, make sure to ask at least 48 hours in advance. That's no later than midnight on Friday. Anyway, uh, reach out if you have any questions or concerns. I'm here for you guys. Good luck with that assignment. Cheers. Boop.